welcome back to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. We are here today. Let me adjust my yes, yes, yes. Anyways, uh, let's try that again. Hello, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome back to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. In this episode, we are going to be going on a going on an adventure of some veggies. It's not like Veggie Tales. Um, but like, we're also going to be exploring veggies and we're exploring, creating some wonderful bushy broccoli. Yeah, bushy broccoli, isn't that cute? <laughs> so I challenge you to create bush, some bushy broccoli with me. Uh, you can even create uh, your own video and stitch it together with mine um, on social media and show me what you come up with as well. Uh, really, it's just a big broccoli crown. But hey, we gotta take two words and smush them together, and these are two B words. So bushy and broccoli equals some bushy broccoli. So let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we are going to be drawing some bushy broccoli. Bushy broccoli. Oh, yeah. All right, bushy broccoli. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's think of an idea right now because that's what we do on the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. We just make it up on the spot and we go for it. Yeah. So here we go. Bushy broccoli, bushy broccoli. Two words together. Making it up. All right. Let's start off with broccoli's body. Yes. We're going to draw two curving lines down. Okay. For the, the big stalk, and then it'll branch off into some smaller stems. And then at the bottom, we're gonna draw a nice curvy line to connect it, because of course, broccoli is round, so we gotta do some roundness on that broccoli. Okay, so we're gonna also separate this into a few branches, so wherever you feel like you want to have a branch, you can just add some in there. Whatever makes you happy, make your bushy broccoli <laughs> the way you want it. Ha! <laughs> I like when words rhyme. It makes me happy. Okay. All right. Now, broccoli, well, I mean, it already is pretty bushy, but we're going to add some. We're going to exaggerate all the different little florets at the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have first some little branches peeking out from the back, right? Because sometimes there's one thing in front of the other and we want to indicate that with some kind of sticking out and we're gonna make them smaller intentionally because we want them to look like they're farther away. So we're making them smaller on purpose so that way they stand out. All right, and then we're going to make it bushy. So usually I think that a, a broccoli crown would be about this size but it's a bushy broccoli, so we're going to exaggerate it and make this uh, huge broccoli crown. So we're going to just simply start using our curving lines and connect them together and let this broccoli get a little bit out of control. And all we're doing is we're adding our curving lines to make it extra exaggerated. I'm going right up to the edge of the page because, well, it's a bushy broccoli, not a broccoli broccoli. It's just a really big broccoli crown is all it is. But we're gonna have fun with it and make it a bushy broccoli. I have little bits here and there. So once I do the bigger details, then I work on the smaller details. We go big to small, big to small details, big details to small details. Okay, so we got big details, and now we're going to add small details. So we're gonna add some smaller little bushes. Right, smaller little bushes. And 
And then we're gonna do even smaller details, right? Big to small details. So now we're just gonna do just curving lines inside there to add some broccoli texture. And if you hear some crying in the background, that is my cat who is not getting his way of going outside right now. So I'm apologizing in advance. All right, so we're doing big details to small details, big to small. Okay, so we got lots of broccoli texture in there. That is a pretty bushy broccoli. So now we're gonna give a bushy broccoli a face. Let's give it some heart eyes. Okay, so we're gonna draw one heart on one side, one heart on the other. And then we're going to thicken up those lines. Thicken up the lines, make them bold and beautiful so that way it adds a little bit of contrast and helps it stand out. Get a new marker in a second. So sad. All right, and then for the mouth, let's give it some little silly kissy lips. Cause it's a bushy broccoli. So cute. Okay, what else could we do? Let's add some nice little detailed lines around the edges. Yup, 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 yup. I like it, I like it. There on the eyes. Oh my gosh, my marker. Goodbye, marker. You are done. All right, and once you're done that, you are ready to give it some color. So grab something to color with, whatever makes you happy, and go ahead and color in your very wonderful, extra awesome, bushy broccoli. Using your favorite art making mediums and your choice of colors. If you don't want green broccoli, and instead you'd rather have purple broccoli, you do you, it's your art, make it the way you want it. That is a cool thing. You always gotta add your artist flavor and if you don't, if you see me doing something in a style and you're like, eh, I don't really wanna do the eyes like that or I don't really wanna give it kissy lips, give it whatever kind of lips you feel like because it's your artwork and you should make it the way you like it. That's, that's all that matters, right?
All right, and once you're done, your bushy broccoli, your bushy broccoli is done.